care package together. And baby, I saw something for me. And I've done some videos. My friend from Brooklyn would send them to me. Baby, look what I found on T. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You know I'm happy. Because you can only find these on the East Coast. But I guess they're branching out. So I got me a box. They're expensive. I almost want to get two. I'm going to just get one. And this will probably be gone before the night is over. So, Anne. Anne. If you see this video, Ann Miller, you know you can still hook your girl up, okay? You can still hook her up. I just made it back to the hotel and I unpacked everything. Coming up to this room with all those bags was a challenge. You know, sometimes I was like, no, I'm a one trip girl. One trip, okay? So I had almost everything. I just could not bring up the toilet paper. So... I'm going to see my daughter, Sydney, in the morning, and it's a three and a half hour drive. That's all right, that's all right. So I have to leave very early and then I come right back. But I'm listening to a good audio book, so, okay. So, I just bought her, I don't know, I'm terrible in a gift department. So I just bought her some of her favorite snacks and some things I think she would like. She's on this no dairy kick. One minute she's eating everything healthy, next minute I don't know what it is. So this is what she's getting, that's it. <laughs> she's getting the care package. And if she has leftovers, she can take it up to school with her because right from summer camp, she goes right to campus. Then she wants Bobby and I to drive down to Oklahoma. Okay, all right, all right, you know. And I want to see her, her her dorm. She's going to be moving into the sorority house with six other girls. Oh, no, with five other girls. So it's a six bedroom suite. Mm -mm. It could not be me, honey. It couldn't be me. So let me show you what I got her. Some things. And hopefully Bobby will come home and make this frosting for Sydney strawberries. Okay. I know it's a mess. It's a mess. So we got her some strawberries. And then we're gonna make her some cream trees frosting. We went to Whole Foods. Um, Bobby volunteered today at a food bank and they had a whole bunch of flowers. So I believe she wants Sydney to have the flowers. They are pretty. Yeah, very pretty. And Sydney drinks this Celsius stuff. So, oops. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Sally. Hold on, hold on. flowers and some water so anyway so she likes this celsius so i don't know what kind i got her mango passion fruit okay she likes this kettle corn from trader joe's i know she likes popcorners so bobby got her these then we got her some snack peas um i know she likes these these chips are good so if you ever in the grocery store, these are very, very good. And uh, I know they used to like the Circles crackers. I mean, it's a good snack when you want that college budget. So I don't know if she'll eat these or not. But I bought her these. I know they like the ones that's sh in the sh circle shape. I'm like, what difference does it make? And she likes these bars right here. Honey, I tried. I don't like them at all. But I think these are the ones she likes. And they are not cheap. So we only got her two. And then I know she likes the honey roasted pecans, which are very good. So I may have to dip up in this bag, okay? And I'm not sure if she's gonna eat these or me while I take that long drive. So I'll see if <laughs> so I'll be opening this bag as well. Then I know Bobby likes these, but I'm not sure Sydney likes these. You know, they all start to overlap after a while. And these are some H-E-B crackers. We all like their generic crackers. Then Bobby picked these out. She said Sydney likes these. And we got these from Trader Joe's. Then she likes these seaweed things. So we all like these. So we all like these um, seaweed little things. Got some honey roasted 
pistachios, which are very good and a little pricey. And some apricots, stuff for her to snack on. And then I know she likes these for sure, apple cinnamon rice cakes. And I'm not, none of us are chocolate lovers. None of, none of, none of us, none of the kids. But I do like this. This for me, y'all. <laughs> this for me, okay? So this is her little care package, little snacks. So she doesn't have to go to the store. But sometimes she, they're hungry. And they stay with host families. So that's what she got. So I'm going to put these in the fridge. I'm going to wash them first and put those in the fridge. I know she'll like that. So instead of a cake, that, that's what they like. They like the cream cheese frosting. So you just mix the cream cheese with some powdered sugar, a little cinnamon, vanilla extract. You're good. So that is it for Sydney. So I'm just going to put it in this bag. I thought about a little basket, blah, blah, blah. But I got a late start. Hopefully she just appreciates what she gets. Get what you get and don't throw off it because that was a little, that was expensive. Getting that stuff from Trader Joe's and H-E-B and, you know, you're getting the healthy stuff. I don't care what anybody says. It costs money to eat healthy, honey. It's a little pricey, okay? So instead of eating ramens, the 49-cent package of ramens, you got to spend a little extra to eat healthy, okay? So... The kitchen um, area is a little dirty, okay, but I'm going to show you. We live here, okay? So I have to wash these pans out to prepare some dinner. And it's getting kind of, it is late, so, but I'm still going to cook some. Oh, well, it's summertime. So this is what I bought. So I'm about to make some chicken legs, fried chicken legs, okay? And they were on sale, honey. They were $4.46. I like a good chicken leg sometimes, fried chicken leg. And I don't have time to soak them. I usually soak them in salt water. I don't got time for that. So, But I do slice them. I slice them. I put a slit in them so it could cook. Um, I, I like this oil. I haven't fried anything in like forever. So this would be a treat for me. But this is the oil that I prefer. Of course, y'all already saw my intimates. Okay. I got some Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts, okay? You may not like them, but I like them. And I kind of stocked up on some seasonings. Um, I put this in my water. put this in my tea. So, I love this. I bought some more tea. I ran out of my tea. So, this I am trying. I am trying this hot sauce with some hot fried chicken. Baby. And I could not find the adobo. I usually use adobo. Could not find it at this grocery store. So I got this. Um, salt free. Um, this is what I bought to season the chicken. I couldn't find my adobo. That's what I usually use. I grew up on Lowry's. But now I won't be using Lowry's. Black pepper. Some paprika. This paprika huh, is from Hungary. This Hungarian paprika. Okay. So, okay, I'm fancy. She fancy now. <laughs> and I got some pink Himalayan salt. I don't know. Y'all tell me, is this salt supposed to be better for you? I don't know. I saw somebody else cooking using pink salt. And accent. Throw some accent. I grew up with this. My mom used to use this and everything. And a little extra virgin olive oil. And that is it. Then I got some white bread. So, that was the haul for Sydney for the hotel. And so I'm about to cook something, and I don't mind eating leftovers. It's le leftovers are great when you don't feel like cooking anything, but I got to get up early, but I need to eat some. I did eat breakfast. I forced myself to eat before I left for the library. So I had um, bacon and eggs, and I added a little twist to my scrambled egg. Baby, talking about the flavor. Mm, 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 mm. It not it kicked up that flavor bad bad. Okay, you know we probably used to eating eggs with a little salt and pepper, whatever. But baby, let me. I'm, I'm gonna just put y'all on right now. I'm gonna put you on. It may sound gross to you, but whatever. I like to experiment with food with seasonings. I don't mind experimenting, but I put a little bit of this low sodium bouillon 
in the eggs. It was just like a little pinch, like a, I, I cooked three eggs and I added my Parmesan cheese and I probably put a, a quarter teaspoon. Drop the mic. It kicked up the flavor of those eggs <laughs> a lot. I, let me tell you, very bad, good, okay? So that, mm-hmm, good. I don't know, I just like to try different things. And that particular thing actually worked. It was phenomenal. So with that said, I'm gonna ready to cook this chicken and make a little macaroni. So I'll catch you later. I'm about to dice up an onion. Dice up an onion. And I'm only frying a few pieces of chicken. I don't have a leg. okay I don't have a lid I don't have my typical wire rack so I'm improvising and I'm gonna put it on the steaming thing I mean I could put it on some tissue but the chicken will look at that if your chicken ain't golden brown like this then I don't want it Then I put slits. I think this is me improvising because I don't have a wire cooling rack, like a cookie cooling rack. So I'm not throwing that away because I'm going to do another batch. Okay. So I drained the macaroni, right? And on the box, and on the box is asking for some butter and some milk. Right? So I'm going to use a little heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to place the onions in there and some garlic. Onion powder, garlic powder. Okay, I ran out of space for the macaroni. So I'm going to plate this up and tell you how, what else I did, because I ran out of space on my phone. I have some Brussels sprouts and an air fryer. I like Brussels sprouts. So I'm just going to have this right now. All right, y'all, I'm still waiting on the Brussels sprouts, but I wanted to go ahead and try it. I have not tasted the macaroni Bobby did. She said it was here we go.
this chili garlic Cholula. So I'm gonna try this. Let's see what this is giving. Make it make sense. Good. Let me check my Brussels sprouts. Need about another 10 minutes. You want another piece of chicken? There's more chicken. You didn't like it? Okay, so since my um since my phone was saying it was full, I had to go and delete videos and then it was still saying it was full. And then I had to go into the settings for the camera and delete the recently deleted. So I have already finished the macaroni and cheese. So you want to cook the macaroni and cheese the way it is on the box. Mince your onion. And you can saute your onions and your garlic and stuff in another pot. But I have to use what I have. I have to make do with what I have, okay? So I just threw the onions and garlic in with the hot macaroni after it was drained. Instead of using milk, I used heavy whipping cream. And I put some chicken, the low sodium chicken bouillon, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper. And then I put in, uh, for this size box, I put in about almost one cup or three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, and I added you know, I added the packaged cheese as well. But then I added all that, baby. The flavor on this bussin'. Mmm. It's creamy. It tastes savory. It doesn't taste like box macaroni and cheese to me. I mean, because of the little tiny noodles. You know, that's giving box. But we just going to hook it up. Okay. But well, you don't feel like going through a big production for some macaroni and cheese. And then, you know, you're going to have the handful of people that just want the plain box. But baby, when you want to spruce up the box, that's how you do it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. When you fry your chicken, and when you're doing the legs, because the wings are still expensive, on your legs, before I season anything, I cut them. So therefore, I make sure it's going to cook. And I didn't have a lid. But I'm about to give me some more macaroni. And devour this last piece of chicken. Okay. So, let me know if you hook up your little box macaroni. Because you don't want to go through the whole big production. And whatever else you normally put in. Your homemade macaroni and cheese, if you have a secret ingredient. I know some people put mustard. I don't know, but I, I guess it adds to the flavor. Some people add a little pinch of sugar, too. I didn't do that. I did want to, I do want to try it one day with a little pinch of mustard. I would say it must be good because people do it. I like to experiment with food. You know, I'll try, I'll try it one time, okay? 
I'll try it for the one time. And hopefully I like it. I want to see the Brussels sprouts already. Let me try one, y'all. Put this back. Still got a few minutes. Alright, y'all. Give this video a thumbs up. And let your girl know if you try the macaroni or you're going to try the macaroni. But like I said, it's like for those days when you don't want to go through the whole big production of making homemade macaroni and cheese. This will do. This will suffice. Okay? So give this video a thumbs up. Until next time. Later.